The impact of the drought is starting to spread from the farm to our dinner tables. But for right now, that impact might not be what you think. Cynthia Newsom joins us live from Bickle Meyer and KCK with that story. Cynthia? Yeah, the owner here at Bicklemeyer has a great perspective with what's going on with beef prices. They actually raise cattle, slaughter it, and then sell it. If you've been to the grocery store lately, at the meat counter, you've noticed the price of beef is up. Two weeks ago, porterhouse steaks were costing in the neighborhood of $12 a pound. Today, those same steaks are costing in the neighborhood of $14 a pound. The people either choose to spend that additional $2 a pound or they buy down to an item that best fits their budget. Joe Bicklemeyer of Bicklemeyer's Meats in KCK says the price of hay and feed is higher, so he has to pass that on to customers. Beef cattle are what produce the choice steaks and roasts and the ground beef that we sell here. So in dollars, they're costing another $65 to $70 more this week versus just two weeks ago. Long-time customers like Henry Harden are willing to spend more because they understand why. I used to raise hogs, cows, and chickens, and ducks and geese, and all that, and uh, I've always eaten meat, and I'm not going to quit now. <laughs> and customers are becoming smart shoppers. They are buying more beef now to save money later. He's buying sides of beef and quarters of beef to stock their freezer, and it's our thought uh, that any money they spend now is only saving them dollars in the future. The Hardin family will do whatever it takes to get meat on the table. We're going to tighten our belts and uh, learn how to cut some corners. <laughs> and they hope when the drought is over and the price of hay is down, the price they pay for beef will also come down. And Joe Bicklemeyer says he really has not seen a drop in the number of customers coming in to buy their beef. Reporting live in KCK, Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.